How's it going, Knights of Horror? This is a quick little video, it's about like three minutes. Uh, me and my buddy Warren, we were at City Walk, and we saw a few things, nothing too notable. We checked Curious George, whatnot. But then towards the end of our trip, we were heading by the HHN, or the Universal Arches, and we saw a little lighting and sound check going on, and we thought we'd share it because it's pretty fucking sick. I hope you enjoy the next clip. They got all the lights going for HHN. Oh my fucking god, bro. Next week. Next week. <laughs> it's like the Eric Andre show. I know, right? Yeah. Oh my god. That's crazy. That's awesome. I can't believe we caught that. This just started before I pulled out the camera. Wow. HHN is just around the corner. And there it is. You just camp out here and you're like, hey, y'all, yeah. test this out? Yeah, y'all letting y beta testers in? Yeah. <laughs> we need a test crew. Oh no, I, I doubt it. Probably just audio tests, but this is fucking sick. Oh my fucking god. Wow. Oh. That's where Chucky was last year. As, as Chucky's on all the merch, I wonder if they're gonna have that Chucky thing back there this year. That would be awesome. It look, I, earlier we were out here and there were lots of people over in the opening ceremony zone. There's not currently, but it looked like with the lights off and no sound, they were doing a test run. Wow. don't want to hear anymore it's so I don't spoil it for the event but there we have it ladies and gentlemen it is Halloween time at Universal Studios Hollywood it is time What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are here at Universal Studios Hollywood to get our final construction update the weekend before Halloween Horror Nights. Haunting a Hill House, Pandora's box is right behind me. We're gonna take a look at that, see what's new. It looks like the lines are all set up. Everything's ready to go, it looks like. One week away, why am I so... There we go, there's Marissa. Uh, anyway, um, lines are set up, looking good. Like I said, we're a week away from opening day to Halloween Horror Nights. We're gonna check out what's new in the parks, uh, about the finished details. This will probably be one of the final construction updates you'll see on YouTube. There'll be probably a couple other YouTubers that make other stuff, but nonetheless, this is our final construction update. We're gonna have a good time today. Let's go check out what else Halloween Horror Nights has to offer this year. There's Haunting a Hill House right there. This is Curse of Pandora's box. All the lines are set up. Everything's good to go. I, I, I was kind of curious of how they were going to set this up. So this is going to be all Hill House right here, obviously. And this is all Pandora's box. Should be a lot of fun. It's looking good though, man. I'm excited. A week away. It's a 
and looking good. Got the maze sign. So you'll enter Hill House here and you'll enter Pandora's box here. And we're assuming you're going to be coming from like right over there. So we'll see how they uh, work this out. I'm excited to see. This is a new maze location for 2021. New property. Returning. Original. I'm excited for it.
Look at this. I'm here with the legend himself, Dracula. How do you feel about your daughter coming to HHN this year? <laughs> He's not just my daughter, but my wives as well. Your wives as well? Yeah. They're gonna take on... I gotta go Bride of Frankenstein. I'm sorry. Bride of Frankenstein, man. She's on a mission to get her love back. And you you do realize who you're talking to, eh? I do realize who I'm talking to, but I mean, it's it's Frankenstein's monster. I mean, I'm a huge Dracula fan. Your neck is looking more and more inviting <laughs> all the time, my friend. <laughs> if it wasn't so hairy, well, fortunately for you, I uh, don't like getting hair in my food. Uh, to be to be fair, I am a descendant from the wolf man, so. I knew it. I right, the beard, I everything. I could smell it on yeah. you Let's, the moment I saw you. Let's get a good picture, my friend. Over the years, Universal and NBC Universal have brought you many of your other favorite hit television shows. Some of these shows filmed and continued to over the stages over the years. The right show, Emmy and the Furious. Our eighth Fast and the Furious film. These sets also became London for Fast and Furious presents 70 Black Dodge Charger. Anybody recognize that? Okay, some of you do, I'm sure. Also, look for a robot in disguise. Bumblebee of the Transformers is here, disguised as a yellow Chevrolet. And here's a yellow vintage Duesenberg, a recreation of what just That's like it featured in George Lucas's American Graffiti. And oh, look at that, a beige George Fairlane. It's kind of like the one that was being driven by Marion Crane, who was played by Janet B. Yet Marion was looking for a place to stay. And maybe take a shower. Well, we all know what I'm asking. Our final destination and our next point of interest on the super is here in Beats Motel and Psycho House from Alfred Hitchcock's classic thriller is Psycho. It's just the motel that features a whole lot of the other time. I was saying the set for War of the Worlds is one of the largest ever constructed, or should I say destructed. We are approximately 10 minutes from the end of the tour, and we'll be returning to the theme park shortly. Remember to pull the emergency cord if you need assistance and remain seated at all times. Over here to the right, you can see this is a big blue wall there. It's a man-made lake known as Falls Lake. You can fill the lake with water and then make it a and the rear of the year is the case maybe yes. We're here at the end of our journey, almost time for all of you to go back to the theme park for some more fun. Here's an insider tip. Download the Universal Studios Hollywood app on your smartphone to stay up to the minute on park information. You can check out things like wait times for attractions like, oh, Jurassic World The Ride, or our newest, The Secret Life of Pets Off The Leash. Check out show times for shows like Water World, a live sea more spectacular, happening at 4.45 and 6.15 p.m. We'll be open until 8 p.m. And to purchase the NBC Universal movies and TV shows you've seen on the tour, visit www.uphe.com or ask today at one of our retail stores. 
Once again, I am Robert good I have been Barbara Lee. Once again, I'm Barbara, myself, and everyone here at NBC Universal. We hope that you enjoyed your exclusive behind the scenes Hollywood experience. When we get to the unloading area, you're going to find some marked and labeled bins. How are you going to get to those amazing? There you can return those 3D glasses. Everybody, be sure that only the 3D glasses go into the bin.